Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install Gimmick for GIMP. Gimmick is a very popular third-party plugin. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.22, which is the latest version of GIMP for the Mac at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of video tutorials on here. You can check out my latest clips and I have tons of free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy, and you can get more content by becoming a DMD Premium member, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so I get a lot of questions surrounding the gimmick plugin when it comes to GIMP for Mac. Basically, the gist of what's going on is that because GIMP does not have a dedicated Mac developer, and the Mac landscape is constantly changing with all their security updates with each new iteration of their operating system. Basically, a bunch of stuff is breaking for GIMP, including the popular Gimmick plugin, and that's also a reason why GIMP for Mac is behind a version. So GIMP for Mac is at GIMP 2.10.22, whereas GIMP itself for any other operating system, Windows, Linux, etc., is on GIMP 2.10.24. And I believe this problem is with the introduction of Catalina. So if you're using the Catalina operating operating system for Mac, you're going to have these issues. Well, there is a workaround, even though Gimmick and GIMP do not really support Mac builds right now. So here I am on the GIMP downloads page. If I scroll down, you'll see the latest version right now is 2.10.22. I did see on Twitter that they are in the process of getting GIMP 2.10.24 up sometime very soon, maybe right after this tutorial comes out, hopefully. But now let's come over here to the Gimmick site. So Gimmick is a plugin that contains tons of extra features. I've used it in several tutorials. But what you're gonna wanna do is navigate over here to the download page. And I'm going to scroll down here. So here is the installer for Windows. And here are all the installers for the various Linux operating systems. Below that you have Flatpak and then you have Mac OS. And you'll see here it says we do not officially maintain a Mac OS build of Gimmick. We are aware that some people have successfully built the Gimmick QT plugin for GIMP. You may find useful resources here and here. And so it links to two different resources. The second resource here is to a site called Partha's Place. So this is actually a site that's been around for many years. I've heard about this site from various GIMP users over the years. And basically Partha is a developer who takes GIMP and sort of fixes some things, builds in certain plugins, and just generally adds certain features to GIMP that people want or that he thinks they want. So Partha's custom build of GIMP is a pretty tried and true method for getting Gimmick to install and work for GIMP for Mac. Of course, one of the downsides is this is a third party custom build. So you're kind of doing this at your own risk as the Gimmick team says on its website. Also, it's not always completely up to date, although right now it is up to date. It is using GIMP 2.10.22, as you can see here. But if you scroll up, it's going to give you some information and there is an important link here that's kind of hidden. And it says here, for this version, you must install X11 for Mac from the folks at X Quartz. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this link to get started with the downloading process. And Partha does have an ad that opens up here, which is kind of annoying, but I guess the man's gotta make some money. So here is the X Quartz page. You can also just Google X11 X Quartz if you don't wanna go through that process of having to close down that ad. But then you're gonna download the X Quartz installer. So it says here 2.8.1 is the version. And I'll just save this to my downloads. Click save. So that has finished downloading there. Let's click the up arrow and go to show in Finder. And here you can see the xquartz.dmg installer package. So I'm gonna double click on that. And that's going to start opening up xquartz. And I do want to mention that because of Mac's security updates in its latest operating systems, you do have to download X11 in order for this build to work. So here is the xquartz.package, and I'm just going to double click on that. And you're going to get a message here saying it's going to run a program to determine if the software can be installed. I'll click allow. And now I'm just going to walk through the installer, so hit continue. And you can see here, it gives you some information. I'll hit continue again. Here is the license agreement for the software. I'll hit continue. And I do have to agree to the license. And you can change the install location of this, but I'll just hit install. 
So you're going to enter your password and then hit that little button to start the installation process. So hopefully you guys get this message that says the installation was successful. So now I'll come over here and hit close and I will move the installer to the trash. All right, once we've done that, let's come over here and hit the back button. So that's gonna take us back to Partha's place. You can just type in partha.com. And so now we need to download the actual Mick GIM 2.10.22 release. So let's scroll down here. This part was a bit hard to figure out for me, uh, just locating the actual installation. So you have to scroll down here quite a bit and you'll see here there's a little section called downloads. And here it says Mac OS X. And right here it says GIMP. And you've got three different versions. You've got 2.8, which is an older version, 2.9.5, which I think is an older development version. And finally, McGIMP 2.10.22 standard edition. So we're gonna click on that option. And now I'll come over here and click allow. And I've already downloaded this one. So let me just make sure that gets replaced. So I'm gonna save it to my downloads. It will download as a zip file. So I'll hit save. And in my case, I'll hit replace because I have downloaded this in the past. All right, so the download has finished. Let me hit this little up arrow and go to show in Finder. So here it has downloaded this as a zip file. Typically to open a zip file inside of a Mac, all you have to do is double click on this. And that's going to basically unzip the McGimp file. And that basically means McGimp has been downloaded. So what I recommend you do is click and drag this into your applications and release. And you can click on the zip file here, come over to the little dots and go to move to trash. So now let's come over here to applications and I'm just going to scroll down here. So there's my regular GIMP download. And if I scroll down here, you'll see McGIMP. So one thing you might notice is this application is actually smaller than the standard GIMP. So McGIMP is 372 megabytes, GIMP is 486. So let's click back here on McGIMP all right, so now what we're gonna do is double click on the McGimp icon here to open it up. And that's actually gonna bring up a little security message here. And it's basically saying it can't be verified because Mac has pretty strict properties as to you know what programs can be opened up that are downloaded from the internet based on a certain set of developers. So what you're gonna do is come over here and click this little question mark icon, which is like a help icon. And it's gonna give you information about why it's protecting your Mac. And you'll see here it says on your Mac, you can sort of go to the security and privacy area and enter the general tab. So it says here, open the general pane for me. So we're gonna click on that and we're just gonna click and move this out of the way. But if I come over here, you'll see McGimp was blocked because it's not from an identified developer. What I'll do is just come over here and click open anyway. And once again, it's gonna ask for my password so I'll type my password and click modify settings. And now I'm just gonna exit out of here and I'm gonna hit cancel here and also exit out of here. And now if I come over here and double click on this to open it up, it's still gonna give me a message because Mac has some pretty strict security standards, which I think is probably for the best, but we'll come over here and click open. So here we have McGimp opened up. I'll go to file new just to create a new blank document here, click OK. And now if I go to filters, you'll see here we have Gimmick QT. And when I open that up, you'll see over here that X Quartz does open up automatically. That just allows the Gimmick window to open here. And now you have access to all of Gimmick's features. If you do not have X11 installed here or X Quartz, it's not gonna work. So make sure you have that installed. I'll come over here, hit cancel, and there you go. So yeah, I know it's pretty complicated, way more complicated than it needs to be, but until GIMP and the gimmick team can get a dedicated Mac developer and figure out all of the Mac security issues, this is gonna be the best way to download and install gimmick for GIMP. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.